Okay, so you clicked on this video and you want to know how to make 1 million crowns in Spiral Knights. Let's get to it. So why did I decide to make a video series, which I don't know how long it's gonna be, um, describing to you in the best way I can, I guess on how to make 1 million crowns in Spiral Knights. Well, a big part of that reason is because, well, I'm doing a giveaway where I'm going to give away 1 million crowns, so I have to get 1 million crowns first and I'm not really aiming to spend money on it. So it makes sense that I use the effort to make a video on it as well, right? We, I started making uh, this series, actually got the idea on making the series a little late, so I hope you guys are gonna be able to understand what I'm going to tell you that I did in the past, let's say, 10 days. And uh, hopefully it's not going to be all too confusing for you. So let's get uh, right into it. Okay, so as I said multiple countless times in so many videos, Okay, I think it's just three or four, but still, that's a lot of videos if you consider it's for Spawn Lights. I want to emphasize again how important it is to use the auction house and the energy market to make money, particularly to make passive money. Because, come on, no, no one likes to grind Spawn Lights. I mean, who still grinds Spawn Lights, right? Oh, you do? Well, then I hope you win the giveaway. So for day one, or should I say, for the first video of the How to Make a Million video series, I'm going to showcase one of the most important things that you should use to make money. Because, come on, why, why would I, you know, say the most important thing on how to make money on the last video because come on no one's gonna watch this series anyway so might as well spill the beans at the beginning here you can see how many cells i do just by selling rarities such as alchemy orbs elite advanced eternal simple blah blah blah, blah. and some usables featuring the trinket and weapon slot along with some sparks of life now you may be asking yourself, if you're not accustomed to selling on the auction house, first of all, how do I sell on the auction house? And second of all, why did I sell those? And how did I do it, I guess? Now to start really with the basics is first of all the auction house, which if you're not aware of it, I'm really shocked are you even playing spawn lights like seriously the auction house is the biggest house in the middle right in the middle of haven that everyone hangs out at so i'm feeling pretty confident that you know where the auction house is if you don't hear this you if you want to look at it you just go near it and you click it and now you can see search my auctions my bids this is where you use the auction house uh, you can search any category you can type in the search text yada 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 i'm really hoping that you know all of this anyway to get to the point why do i sell the things i sell well first of all there's kind of some degree of mathematics behind it so stay with me really it's it's really it's really gonna pay off for you in the long run, especially in the grind run. So just bear with me, right? Now, as I said, the first step is first you do a trade order to get energy. If you're new at this, uh, don't go overboard. Try, I don't know, buying six simple orbs of alchemy and three advanced orbs of alchemy that's gonna be 300 energy and you're gonna spend around 24k on that it's pretty solid i don't want someone to use this technique and then you know burn out burn out on cash or just be stuck with uh, huge amounts of alchemy orbs in their inventory so 
You go into the market, simple, really simple as it can be. You go into the market, you type in the search, let's say simple orbs. And what the, what the search results show, you have to spectate. As you can see, I currently have four simple orbs on sale that I'm going to explain more later. And you can already see someone outbid me, which is uh, a lot of people actually outbid me. That means that they put the simple orbs on sale for a price for a buyout price that's actually lower than mine. So if you're going to buy a simple orb, you're, of course, you're going to buy the cheapest one, even if it's one crown less, you're, you're still gonna buy the cheapest uh, one unless you got some extra crowns uh, sitting around and you just don't care about paying those extra few crowns. What I do is calculate the lowest price that I can afford to sell the rarity and break zero. Not be in a profit, but just break zero. And the reason why you should do this, you may be asking yourself, why don't you just wait for the timeout and then post it back again? It's because if you're doing the two day auction post thing, whatever, uh, the auction house actually takes, uh, I think 10% of the crowns or a bit less or more. Uh, for a guarantee, if you don't sell your item, it keeps it. The auction house takes 10% either way, even if you sell it or if you don't sell it. But if you sell it, if you sell it, you have enough profits to cover that expenses. But if you don't, you're you're just at a loss. You're you're gonna start losing money really fast. So that's one thing you can you can see that most of my offers have bids on it. Some don't, but you nothing is you know 100 you're you you're not gonna sell everything uh the first days the first few days but as you can see i've sold tons and tons of stuff and also if you're asking yourself how well how do i calculate the minimum price of the things i'm that i'm trying to say to to sell sorry <clears throat> now let's say that you the current energy price rate is 7.5k for 100 energy and if you bought six simple orbs with that you simply have to calculate 8000 divided by six and what i calculated again with a certain plus to it uh, was 1.3 thousand crowns per simple orb which is why i put the bid so low normally people do i'm not saying it's going it's a mistake but um you definitely put yourself in danger of losing money again and yes it works like since i began this again more intensively because let's face it i have to grind those one million crowns i managed to get around 300 or 400 thousand crowns in like 12 10 ish days now just let that sink in for a bit 300 to 400 thousand crowns in 10 days 12 maybe not doing anything just coming in looking at the energy prices buying if energy converting it into rarities alchemy orbs etc and posting it on the auction house and just leaving it there and then having peace playing with your friends grinding grinding jelly king or vanaduke or whatever you want it does some sound awesome and Again, before you go all crazy and go buy a lot of rarities and such, keep in mind that a lot of people are going to see this video and I may potentially ruin this strategy for a lot of people that have been using it because the success for this strategy partially lies upon people not knowing about it because the more people that are trying to underbid you, the harder it's going to be making money on this. And you may ask yourself, well, why are you telling us then? Uh, isn't that going to make it harder for you to, uh, to make money? And my answer to that is, I, th I really think everyone should, uh, you know, be in a kind of a 
leveled playing field uh, where it comes to the market because I really see that people sometimes buy an orb and they give like 2,000, 3,000 crowns more or even more just to get it and it it may be the case with just one person that needs just one orb not all three of them but really in most cases it's way better to if you just need one orb to just buy from the energy mark supply depot whatever the three orbs and just use one and just sell the two other ones just to break even i want everyone to you know have as least amount of frustration and stress from grinding so another thing that i tend to put um, a lot of attention to is stocking up on energy if you're going to be using the market the way i just described to you and if you're going to be buying a lot of energy it's um, a really good idea to stock up on it maybe have you know if you're a heavy seller like i am i try to have like five thousand at least energy backed up in my in my storage so whenever the energy prices go above 7.5k i tend to not buy it and whenever the energy prices go lower i buy a lot of it fast and in return that also has an economic effect on the fluctuation on the fluctuations of the energy and crown prices uh, the price goes back up <coughs> so it also has a good impact i guess for the people that are buying the energy so they get more crowns in return for their trade because if everyone would be buying energy and just tr everyone traded it for crowns you i wouldn't be surprised if you could get 100 energy for 4000 crowns or even less so it does have a huge economic uh impact on the game itself and uh, if you do that if you choose to do that also you're going to save yourself a lot of money because if other people do that and other people do do that including myself you're going to notice that the ore prices start to go up just like the energy prices go up okay so that's gonna do it for the first video on how to make a million crowns in Sparrow Nights. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. You know some of the guys that some of the bros that are watching and are talking to me on my Discord server know that I really don't like doing long videos because let's face it who, who wants to just sit there and watch this. Anyway bros don't forget to participate in the giveaway. As I said in the descriptions you can write a poem, a rhyme, whatever, a story you can draw, you can create, you can animate, whatever you are capable of making, thinking up. Post it in one of my videos or in the, the best would be in the Discord server. And you will have a massive chance to win 1 million crowns or at least a part of the prize. As always bros, thank you for watching. If you're new here, Please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you see all the upcoming videos, especially if you want to see more tips and ways on our road to 1 million crowns, which is going to be a long road, especially with this video releasing because all of you bros are going to be selling orbs like crazy. Like the video if you liked it, if you hated it, give it a thumbs down and I'll see you in the next one.